Back in 2018, current Road Race World Champion Mads Pedersen gave us a glimpse of things to come when he rode to a second place finish on his Tour of Flanders debut. Who would have thought then that just 12 months later another Danish rider would achieve the exact same feat? De Kerning Quicksteps 25-year-old sensation, Kasper Asgreen. That's uh, <laughs> quite a coincidence. Uh... It's fun. Uh, Mass is a good friend of mine, so uh, we had a good laugh about that. I don't know what I was anticipating. I was just excited to start. Uh, like it was in the balance for a long time, and it was not decided until Wednesday evening. So, and then, yeah, it was just about getting fresh for Sunday. Once the attack started, I was supposed to follow the, the early attacks and, and try to open up the race uh, from, from afar. The first attacks came out around uh, uh, Mof and Giersberg, uh, so my race started out there. It's a big fight to come into the Moor, so I was pretty happy I made it onto the Moor as, as the first one. <laughs> and, uh, Quite funny again. Then when we did it again in the in the Tour de France, I was again the first one on the Moor, but with Ala Philippe in my wheel that time <laughs> instead of Stenjek. It was uh, pretty funny. I have two pictures side by side of those two races. We split open the the race there, and and I think the race split up uh, like three or four groups and uh, some big chase for a long time after that. And we had, I think five riders in the first group, so for us it was a really good situation and a good way to get the race started. And look at this, look at this from Sepp von Marke. Stay in von den Bergen, Sepp von Marke, two of the local heroes. I arrived onto the path of first and I just went for it, opened up the gas and I looked behind, I had a gap and I could see I could close to them, so it was a perfect situation to get somebody off the road so early already. So I just went for it. It was just full gas racing from there. I was not really too focused on <laughs> on it being my first two Flanders or anything. I was just I was just racing. Bombardier's going to make contact now, and 20 odd seconds behind, you have the next group. I was struggling quite a bit uh, on some of the on some of the climbs, so I skipped some turns and and, and managed to hang on. And we come onto the Qualamont the last time and bit the old attack and just dropped everybody. I managed to stay in the favorites group over the over the top and. Again, over the path back, I was really just focusing on, on trying to not get dropped and not, not have my legs completely lock up with a cramp. So that was my main focus at that point. <laughs> I was on the front with uh, Bob and Eve in my wheel. And then Bob, around the corner, he just kind of let me ride away. And then I had a, back, a gap to the rest of the group, and then we just yelled, go. It's quick step. Sending off the front. And what a crowning moment for him if he makes the podium as well, Kasper Asgren, yeah. because he has been something special. I was just riding with everything that was left, and I, the last kilometer my both my legs were just cramping and I, I, I have no idea how I managed to keep turning the pedals because it was just one big cramp and then I saw the 500 meters to go sign and I looked back and I, was, and I thought like can't, can't be that I'm gonna end up second to Flanders. Education first. Legendary. 
This, in the meantime, is Kasper Arsgren. What a debut for him. He comes and finishes in second place. It was a really nice day. Obviously, we didn't win, but uh, for me to end up second in, in, in Tour of Flanders in my, in my first year was an, an amazing experience for me. I think on the podium, I was like, okay, that, that just happened. It uh, was uh, incredible. Uh, incredible day and incredible experience. Hope to, hope to do it again, and maybe even better.